this Lagos is is not for the faint hearted. You gotta be a strong person to live here. We're looking for a three bedroom flat actually. Hi guys! Hi guys! Welcome again to our channel! <laughs> My name is Amaka. My name is Kachi. And together we are the Perfect, Perfect Match. To our new subscribers, welcome. welcome. And to those who've been here before, welcome. welcome. Thank you for being here. We love you. As you can tell from the title of this video, we are taking you through our house hunting experience in Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to take you guys through the various experiences we have trying to relocate in Lagos. Man, it was not easy. It was very good. It was bad. And it was rough. <laughs> it was <laughs> something to write home about. <laughs> so we are bringing it to you how it went down from the first house to the last house. It was really an interesting experience. Yeah, we had to visit over 10 or 15 houses. Yeah, we had agents with us. So others will be telling you in this video. It's quite a long video. Mm. So we just had to break it into like three or four parts. Yeah. And then you're watching the first video. for house hunting, especially in Lagos, Nigeria. Uh-huh. We're going to be sharing with you guys some of the things you need to know when you want to go house hunting in Lagos. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. First things first, you got to dress for the struggle. <laughs> so now we're waiting for, uh, for the person to come, right? So I look like one... <laughs> I don't know what I look like. <laughs> I've not been able to make my hair, so you guys bear with me. I know I'm looking rough. Lagos can stress you, man. We are looking for a house. <laughs> We're looking for a house. It's really not an easy search. Right now, you are a house hunter. You have to dress for the struggle. There's no time for you to start wearing <laughs> heels or, uh, you know, jackets or. All those things that make you feel very <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> of course, hunters don't dress well. <laughs> okay. Especially because you might have to jump the gutters. You're gonna sweat a lot, you know, while having to walk through some paths, some streets. Your your clothes might get dirty. When you're house hunting in Lagos, it's not the time for you to start doing fine boy, fine girl. Ah. You gotta roll up your sleeves. If possible, wear slippers, bathroom slippers. So the rules are bad, you know. So you oh just have God. to get ready and dress dress for the struggle. Yeah, dress for the struggle. We kind of like this house. We, we like it because of the natural ventilation. Oh, God. The air. Ooh, it's just too... I like the trees. I like the vegetation. Yeah. Something about having vegetation. This is the back of the house. We are yet to get into the building itself. Yep, 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 yep. Into the building or into the no, flat. Into the flat. Yes. The rooms. But it looks good. You would also want to check out for ventilation, you know. Uh, fortunately in Lagos, due to constraints with space, a lot of buildings are just so congested. There are no spaces to leave for fresh air to come yeah. in. Yeah. But then if you have vegetation in the house, it's an added advantage because mm -hmm. by default, you're likely to have air coming. Yes. So you also yes. want to check out for ventilation. And, Do they you know, have windows? Yeah. There are some houses that don't have windows or they even have one and the one will be so small. So mm -hmm. you have to check for that. Yes, yes, yes. Very key. The house might be so fine, but there's no window. <laughs> check out for that. Very, I, very important. Well, well I, 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 you would hardly, I don't think you would easily see, you would see a house that don't have a window, but you might just see one that has just one window, very small And then window. might have a window. Okay, we had, we, had the one, back, we had the house that didn't have one, one of the rooms didn't have a window. Yeah, at the back of the window would be a pillar. There's no air coming into that room. Good 
While we were house hunting, we had to look out for the parts of the house that are most important for us. For me, when we go check out a new house, I was checking out for the kitchen. How big is the kitchen? Because I wanted a bigger kitchen. <laughs> of course, you have to go for a bigger kitchen. For yes. me, it's the sitting room. I just need space, you know, where I could do a lot of things inside, like I have a space for a studio. I actually want to set up a small home studio. studio. Home studio. Yeah, 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 in the sitting room. You there in enjoyment place. Guys, looking so blue. So blue. <laughs> you don't call me and I'll make a come. He said that yesterday. <laughs> don't worry, I'll come, I'll come. I won't check that uh, three bed. That one where we where they where they your street down there. That one where I won't check. Okay, before we go to that place, we go to that place. That one will carry out all our tasks. So where do we go to straight? We, we are going to the bus. Right. I got a friend. I got a branch. See, see what's up, brother. Okay. I'm not going to keep you in my head. Another thing for you to look out for while house hunting in a place like Lagos, mm. Nigeria is the surrounding, the environment, the road to mm. your house. We are now walking because the car can no longer take us. <laughs> Getting a house in the mainland is not easy and it's been, it's not been easy. What's that? You know, majorly we don't have good roads in Lagos. Let's not even try to paint it. It's not in all parts of Lagos. <laughs> but I said that's why I said majorly. Those of us on the mainland, this is what we face. But majorly, those <laughs> majorly, we don't have good roads in Lagos. Let us not deceive ourselves. But then, if you have a road that is manageable, motorable. It is good enough when it rains <laughs> then you have to check out for that because some roads might be good during the dry season and then it rains you're like what how did i move in here yeah. so check out for the surrounding how motorable is it how good is the road because somebody might want to visit you and then they can't assess your house because the road to your house is bad Another thing to look out for while house hunting in Lagos mm -hmm. is landlord. Uh, well, very important. <laughs> <laughs> Some landlords are interesting, are really, really interesting. So you want to know about the landlord? 
one you want to know whether the landlord lives in the same compound two you want to know what kind of um, a landlord the person is probably from the agent or maybe from tenants already living in the house yeah. I was going to tell them how would you know the landlord's history by asking questions. Asking questions, yes. of course. Yes. So you need to ask questions. Uh, who is the landlord? Where is he from? You know, try to get some basic information about the landlord. It will help you a great deal. I and you know what? After even checking the house, you can still go back there without the agent, just you alone. Go yeah, there. Do your see? background. Yeah, your background check. check because they are forward nice in Vegas. We know of a couple who paid for a house, was starting to move into the house. The house was not available Whoa. because yeah, 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 we true. had they had um, people dupe them of their money. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. But we were blessed enough. We were blessed enough to find our agents online. We'll talk about that in another video because that is another ball game. This is another house. Another thing for you to look out for while house hunting in a place like Lagos is whether the apartment is finished or not. You don't, I mean. to, you don't want to pay for an uncompleted Yes, so building. you have to check whether the house is still being renovated. You have to check whether the house is ready for you to move in in a week, in two weeks, or even in the, the next day. You have to check for that. Because we went to houses where the landlords or the agents were like, ah, this house, we need to just plaster up, we need to just um, paint here, we need to just do put this, we need to just put this um, socket note there, I won't put socket. I like, excuse me, so why are you showing us the house that is not ready to be moved in yet? <laughs> yes. So you don't want to pay for an uncompleted building. Someone was sharing a, 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 an experience with him. It's like he paid for a house and they told him within two weeks, just pay your rent. Within two weeks, we're going to fix this, fix that, fix that. It's like three months now and the house is still not ready. Can you imagine that? And you've paid, so you're stuck. You're stuck. So check up for the apartment. Is it finished? Are you ready to move in in a week? Or two weeks time even though yes there are still sincere landlords that you pay them they fix the house and you move in but then you don't want to take the risk no don't take chances do not take chances in lagos ah shine your eye shine your eye man <laughs> this is lagos Yes, we have walked around the ghost It's amazing. The agents that would actually change your choice your choice yeah they will change your choice like ah, why you want two bedroom now take three bedroom now why you want three bedroom take self contain now <laughs> you will be like it's true why do i even need three you begin to reconsider what they are telling you to so just know what you want and go for it you might not really get everything you want while hunting for a house in lagos but you know the things that are most important for you like we mentioned before we wanted a bigger kitchen we wanted a bigger sitting room yeah. we wanted a place that is well ventilated you know we wanted a place that is also youtube friendly we'll talk about that in, in our next video. video thank you so much for watching this one stay tuned for another bye bye, bye.